Hello everybody, I'm Raphael Perry and tonight I'm going to play some Sacred Fire. Now I backed this game on Kickstarter a few years ago and I've been patiently waiting for my backer rewards ever since. Now the game has finally gone into early access and yes it's a bit later than expected but that's okay. I have generally avoided reading too much about this game. I've kind of skimmed through the updates when they come but tried to avoid reading too much because I didn't want to sort of burn out and lose interest and enthusiasm when the time came. So, how can I best describe this game? This game is about playing a Celtic character in a game of Celts and Romans. This shield, not a very Celtic shield. This is less Iron Age and a little more Dark Age, but we can work with that. Um, so yeah. Celts and Romans, we're playing a Celtic character theoretically in Roman-occupied Britain, and the game is very psychological. I've already turned down the sound, but if the music begins to drown me out, I really hope that won't be the case. So the game is very psychologically based, in that there won't be a lot of physical strengths, like this is how strong you are, this is how nimble, how durable, how wise, but rather it will be psychological traits, like this is how aggressive you are, how creative, how empathetic, and things like that, right? And in the rare occasions where there will actually be combat, the, there will be various choices in combat, and the chances of success will be based on different personality traits. So this obviously reminds me of Shadows of Estran. And I got my back a key a few days ago, and I'm ready to give it a go now. Let's dive in and have some fun together. Tutorial texts like this are displayed only once. To read them again, click Reset in the main menu. Okay. Sacred Fire is not a punishing game. Feel free to create a character you'll enjoy playing. In other words, it's not so much saying embrace failure or difficulty so much as it's not going to be too hard, so you, can, you don't need to worry too much about being over-specialized or excessively weak in any particular area. It'll be more flavor and less, like, live or die. Okay. The writing lets you explore and discover choices that play to your strengths. Character creation choices do not lock or unlock any story content. Your role-playing does. Use the grey left and right arrows to select the ethnicity of your character. Um... I'm playing a Celt. So I'd be Irish, Welsh, or Scottish. Theoretically, maybe French. Um, I'm aware that they put a lot of ethnicity options into the character creation. And some of them would hail from so far abroad that back at this point in time, the only way they'd realistically get here in great numbers would be if the Romans brought them. Because when the Greeks discovered the island of Thule, as they called it, that's T-H-U-L-E, before the Romans discovered it and called it Albion. Uh, the Greeks declared it was so cold and icy that it was the place where you turn around and go back. And then the Romans came and said, we want to invade this place and get all the resources out of it. And then they stayed for a few centuries, decided they couldn't own the place. Then the Vikings came, and that's another story. That'd be another game entirely. So I'm not sure how many ethnic origins we're going to have, because I'm also not sure how far in to the invasion we are. If it's the early days of the invasion, then playing someone from far off lands... Look, I'm not saying if someone looks different, it's weird or anything. I'm saying, do I justify the presence of this character? in a time before safe mass transportation. Use the green left and right arrows to select a preset and click the down below to continue. Okay, so grey for ethnicity, green for presets. Will we then get options after that? I don't know. Click on the X at the top of the screen to return to the title screen. Okay, we can do that. Uh, we can play a man or a woman. A female protagonist. As a girl, you grew up hunting with your brother, plus agility. He protected you, and you remained a sensitive soul. And extra empathy, so agility. So it's not entirely psychological then. 
That's why the cruelty of the world is more burdensome. Okay. As a boy, you grew up sparring with your brother. His protectiveness inspired you to live up to his example. That's why the injustice of the world angers you more. Right. Let's look and see what we've got. Okay. Uh, we have two options. Just two. And they're very pretty, but I do think... Um, I mean, like, the Picts, the, the Picti, the Scottish Celts, were considered swarthy, like the Spaniards, in in some accounts, but not necessarily this dark skin. So I think I'm going to go with a fair-skinned character. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What do we have for these? Okay, so bow, axe and shield, a hunting horn. Oh, do these change? based on a spear so it would seem right okay so she changed her hair a bit all right warrior relying on vitality and physical skills okay what do we got uh, a custom character something i would absolutely like to do when i have more experience of the game so warrior is on vitality and physical skills a hunter on willpower and resistances or an elder relying on memorability and leader skills. Okay, well, obviously we might get a few customization options after this. Um, playing as an elder, I thought we were playing a reasonably young character. Um, so elder, warrior, hunter. Well, let's go for hunter. Oh God, that face. No, 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 wait. Please, we, we get to do some more, right? We, we get to... I, I can't stand that jawline. The, the, the corners of the jaw protrude too far forwards for the rest of the face. It's very strange. There we go. Yeah, let's go back. Um, let's give a name. Uh, maybe Peradur or Ardur. Something suitably Celtic. Um, Peradur would be very too, very close to Prideri. And... Uh, no, let's go with Ardur. Not a very Celtic name, but Celtic enough. Ardur. Of course, the, the Roman would be Artorio or Arturius. I'm not sure. You can start playing the character. You can start playing the preset character now, or you can use this screen to customize your character. Okay, well, let's take a little look and see what we can change here. Clicking the name above lets you enter a name of your choosing and make the character your own. Yeah, I kind of did that a little bit already. <laughs> okay, game. Clicking plus or minus next to attributes and buying and selling traits allows you to reallocate character points. We currently have no points. What is the point of this? There is no point. Well, there will be if we change points. Make sure to spend all character points to be able to click and start playing. So that person will be disabled if I have unspent points. That's nice. The goal is to make the bonuses percent in resist, lead and act dice rolls fit your intended playstyle. So the ones on the right hand side. So I take it we tinker, we tinker with these which will affect these. Mind and block attributes change while playing the game as the choices you make affect your mind. Okay. Body attributes change only in rare scenes where you get to train or when the game lets you define your backstory or when you take like some kind of critical injury, maybe? Traits represent your inborn temperament and talent. You can unlock a few later in the game in rare scenes as well. Hit points helps you survive and are important if you plan to risk your life or solve conflicts by force. Mo motivation points oh, is that exactly miles per hour, are used to boost your chances in dice rolls and are important for role playing. 
Thank you for playing Sacred Fire during early access. Please tell us about your experience. Or in this case, put up a video on the internet for everyone to see. As a solo developer, I might not be able to respond quickly, but rest assured I evaluate every piece of feedback. You know what? If it is just one guy doing all this, then respect the man, you know, he's done a really good job. Okay, so Intimidate is rather low. We got High Provocation, Encourage and Soothe. Maybe we want a bit more soothing. So let's Ideals is going to change for Okay, okay. So Strength. Resist fear and anger. Strength is good for that. And also speed and force in action. If we type that down to a six. What will... Can I... No, I can't... I can't mouse over these to find which of these affect them. But I can mouse over these to see what they affect. Oh, wow. Empathy just affects everything. Intellect. Okay. Ideals, maybe... Ooh, switch a point from ideals to favour. And yes, that'll remain about the same. Hang on. Oh, I see, I see, I see. That's affecting that right. Trauma. Um, if we take the rage block down ever so slightly. No. Guilt. I think we should feel the responsibility of the people we're looking after. Oh, wait, did I... I have points. Appearance. Beauty. Okay. What's this? Appearance menace. I see. So we have a point to spend still. If we put it in perception, that'll do fear, pain. Okay, so I'll do blocks. Um, empathy is just really good all round at this point. Favor? Wait, so favor's just like a worse version of empathy. Uh, your ability to feel and understand what yeah. Motivation points and all leader skills. Strengthen, uh, fear, anger, and blocks. Okay. Whereas, when interpreting events, fear, anger, and blocks resistance. Right. Favor, evolution. Oh, okay, so this isn't the, the, you know, the favour of the people. This is the favour of the gods. Yeah, sure, we should absolutely have strong belief. Especially for this time period. Customise. Visual customization. Yeah, sure, we'll go take a look at that. Um, do we get to change much? Oh, wait, what? I see. So we change those two things. Oh, hello. We get a close-up button. Oh, we don't get a rotation. Okay. So we're going between... I am seeing some hairs change here as well, along the forehead there. This, this, this. Um, Is that it? One, two... Three, four, five. No, there's more. Okay, then. So we are getting quite a few nice options. Um, I mean, really, let's see. This is uh, Iron Age. So the hair for the men should be like a little lower than jawline, but above the shoulders. And they should be relatively clean shaven, but sometimes with large drooping moustaches for this particular period. Uh, for battle, the hair may be spiked up with grease or animal fat. Um, but if he is like a tribal elder... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight, nine, was it eight? Was it seven or eight? Okay. Let's go with you. You look nice and elderly. Figure? Oh, hello! No, no, no. Figure, figure. Oh, right. It's, it's, it's not close up. Got it. Okay. Um, okay, so we can close this now. Yes, we can. Traits. We have traits. Um, no, this is just telling us what everything is. What are these? 
friend archetype. Gifted archetype. Oh, these are. This is a lot. Do, do we have these or do we need to buy them? Graceful presence. Um, okay, we appear to have ancient heritage and captivating presence. If we say you, lose that and then go gifted um, friend archetype. All right, so then we have friend and ancient heritage. So I'm going to slow to anger and a bit. Um, so if we take that and this. Yes, that's a bandage. It's not a toilet roll. So if we then close this down. And play with these some more in future. Absolutely. Celtic heritage, Nordic heritage, nomadic heritage, ancient heritage. Okay, interesting. So if we close that and we... Whoa! No, wait. And this. Oh! Well, that was wrong. Right, okay. So we had our elder. We did a little visual customization, a little close up. Um, was this the one? Yes, it was, because if we. And that's all we get to customize for now. Oh! Interesting. Do. Oh, no, no, back in. There we go. Right! Oh, that's a pain because I just went and did all this stuff. So let's take that down. Oh, that's a nice big plus. Uh, we have traits again. We're swapping ancient heritage for friend archetype. And then we are going back on. Ooh. This is going to take us back to the main menu, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so we're swapping that for this. Um, taking a little rage block off. Um, wh where are we getting this point from? Wait, 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 wait. So we lower these, we get a point. We raise these to get a point. So a block's then bad things. Blocks attributes. Your heart hides all the monsters. Intense experiences that take root in your mind and feed or drain your resolve. So these are bad for us. Right. So gaining a little more blockage. Okay, so we go with a little guilt then. Addictions. Memories of intense experiences distract from physical and emotional pain. But they do occupy your mind, making everything and everyone else more bland. Ooh, okay. So we want a little more favor. And then we check those traits. Swap this back to this. And then I think we're good to go. Let's see what happens. Rome would have you believe they are the light of the world. That all they brought us was slaughter and chains. Okay, that's very quiet. The mountains have taught us patience. We observe, we understand, and like the mountains, we stand. We needn't defeat Rome on the field of battle. Her legions are not I'll check later to see if there's any subtitle settings. Obviously, this is unfinished, it's early, and I'm not going to have a go because, like, it's not the best in any regard, you know? I'm just going to say, hey, uh, make them pay. Clearly, we got a conflict here. 
Oh, that's our Kaber. Seems to be telling of how the Romans came, they crushed our people, they took everything from us, but we still stand strong. We still got our spirit. We'll fight against them. I heard the words of a struggle there. So I turned the volume down a little so I wouldn't be overpowered by the music, but now I'll have to go check in options, see if there's an easier... Oh, wow. They look angry. Something about our whole family standing together. I do remember the family gets generated based on the presets we've chosen. And there was supposed to be, in the final game, quite a deep physical character customization. Okay, chapter one, the hunt. Let's go over the basics. To adjust the game settings, click the cogs in the top right corner. I probably will. Your progress is automatically saved at predefined checkpoints. Oh no, that makes it feel like a console game. Oh dear. To reload a checkpoint, clicking, click that and it's, yeah, save and quit. Okay, yeah, 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 sure. Then replay chapter. All right, so it's not. So when we stop playing, it will also save then. The screen wide progress bar at the top tracks your progress through this chapter. So this massive one up here. You can mouse over or click on it to see your progress across the game's important metrics. Interesting. So to see what's being measured. The replay arrows at the bottom right let you reread text leading up to an important choice. Sure. Click the muscle, muscle man, bodybuilding, skinny little thing at the bottom left to access stats about you and other characters. And that to advance the game. Right. So we have, right, audio and visuals. Speech is full. So if I put master back up at, in the main menu, master and like something else were, and effects were at 75%. So I'll pump those back up. I'll turn the music down a bit because that wasn't as... I couldn't change that at all there. Um, UI options. Numbers. Yeah, 1 to 100. Yeah, fine. 0 to 100. Words. Low, fair, high. I have no idea. Hide dice. Nah, you can show dice. It's fine. Tutorials. This should all be fine, right? And I'll, I'll play with this and see how it goes. So we have a stag. A mighty beast. A new checkpoint has been unlocked, so we can mouse over here and say... Okay, chapter progress, 0%. Chapter 1 of 7. You have gained plus no influence while playing this chapter. Experience, wealth, renown, and goodwill. You are fifth in influence in a group of five lead characters. Oh, better work on that. Your total influence is five. To rise in rank, reach 190. Right, we have no anger. Uh, you feel... You feel calm. Scenes often carry anger. Impulses, sorry, scenes often carry anger impulses, raising your anger. So if we hunt this beast and we mess it up, we might feel angry. Like, hey, my, I threw my spear and I missed the animal, right? And it runs off into the thicket. Anger drives you towards action, but ruins caution. Mouse over a choice's percent to see how anger affects it. Impulses result in sub-zero intensity charge. Face, face, face. Um, I su supposed to be like the three dramatic, the two dramatic masks, the happy one and the sad one, but I see an angry one there as well. I see an angry, a sad, and a meh sort of flat mouth one. So, impulses result in sub-zero intensity charge control. Results have above full anger intensity drain it. Impulses resulting in some zero intensity. So below, so things that would calm you down. Oh, I'm not sure. Right, fear. You feel safe. Scenes carry fear impulses, raising your fear intensity. Fear, is it the same? Yeah, it's it's the same. It's the same wording. Uh, vitality nine of nine. You feel comfortable. Vitality is measured in hit points, expressing how much damage you can take. Injuries affect your ability to resist impulses. With a 
minus no percent pain level penalty all resist checks start at 50 percent pain level penalty zero is based on percentage of hit points lost and pain resistance plus seven tip reach end of chapter to regenerate vitality so i presume time is passing between chapters right and we have motivation points you feel fresh motivation points express your ability to focus and make the mental effort needed to enter your peak performance zone click on choices percent to boost your chances of success click the something control button to zero out your emotions um, I don't know where that button is. I don't see it. Oh, is it right here? This massive one. I think it is. <laughs> Tip. Charge control up to 100% to regenerate plus one magic points. So, in that case, impulses resulting in sub-zero intensity charge control. So, this is, if this is charge control. Oh, wait, wait, no. So, an anger... An anger impulse that's below 0% would give me extra control. And something below zero fear would give me extra control, right? So I'm looking for things that calm me down and make me feel good. Uh, all right, and we have this. This screen has four clickable tabs. Outfit, Mindset, Renown, and People. To exit this screen, click X on the top right. Yeah, it's right there. Mouse over each tab to see a summary of its effects. The Mindset tab, this one, is used to manage the ideas you unlock from your subconscious as you play. I like the sound of that. That's intriguing. While the Mindset tab is active, the progress bar at the top displays your next level progress. Okay... Meaning when I'm on that window or that things are actively being done in that window. Oh, never mind. Otherwise, the progress bar at the top displays progress in influence toward the next social rank. So if I'm not on the mindset tab, this will show influence progress. If I'm on the mindset tab, it will show progress towards the next rank of something, the next level of something. Click on the... Renown tab to access the titles your deeds have unlocked. We haven't really earned very many of those yet. The Outfit tab to access person, different pictures, holds the items your story progress has unlocked. The People tab shows how your influence ranks against other story characters. So here we have our main stats. We also have Wealth and Courage. Where's Encourage? Okay, what's this? Beauty, Menace, Prestige. Outfits, Damage. So, damage to our, our weapons and armor and, and clothes. Outfits, Armor. So, damage, armor. This, this outfit has higher armor than damage, and comfort. I see, not a quill to write with, but a nice soft feather bed. We have Renown. Well, not at the moment we don't. Renown Multiplier. That's good. But we have one. Right, outfit. This tab lets you upgrade items quickly using wealth points, which we probably don't have very many of right now. Hunt. Collect loot, trade, and gain favor with story characters to unlock new items and gain wealth. Click an item category and adjust the icons at the bottom to upgrade it. Allocate wealth points into up allocating wealth points into upgrades does not reduce your wealth. For dice rolls, the stats from your I best items are used regardless of what you have equipped. So, hair. Five points, um, wealth points, okay. Hairstyle crafting. <laughs> yes, he has magnificent, luxurious hair. Well, it's not that luxurious, it's kind of thin and flattish looking. Um, 
hairstyle crafting. Each item category can be improved in various ways. Click on the icons to the right to upgrade your items. So, um, hairstyle beauty upgrade, 30 wealth points. We have like five points. Hairstyle prestige upgrade. So his, his, hair, his hairstyle could look nicer or make people respect him more. Okay. Beard. Yeah. Yeah, we, we can't afford any of these right now, I imagine. His bow. Menace. 25 points. And yeah, we don't have a lot of points right now. Okay. Mindset. Despite what you think you believe, life has, life has imprinted its own answers upon you. You're telling me I can't think for myself? These imprinted answers are ideas you take for granted and are unaware of. I could also be aware of them. Story choices that make you reflect on what you feel can articulate and reveal these ideas. And you can go, oh, yeah, I, I do resonate with that. I feel that quite strongly. You can use experience points to resist the effects of these unlocked ideas. I mean, couldn't we welcome them and relish them if we think they're good ideas? Allocating experience points represents using positive memories to counter these imprinted beliefs. So the imprinted beliefs are considered to be bad things. Maybe they will restrict player choice. Experience points are generated by succeeding in choices with dice rolls. Currently, we have no ideas. With nothing in the mindset, it is empty. As you go through the story, your deeds associate attributes with your name. You can use renown points to boost the effects of these unlocked titles. Allocating renown points represents which attributes you emphasize when you tell of your deeds or when others tell of you. Story choices marked with an icon represent daring moves that gain extra renown. Oh, well, I'll be remembering that then. And people. This tab shows your influence in your faction based on experience, wealth, renown, and relationships. Important story characters have dedicated screens. Click on the characters' faces to access them. The flame or explosion -y flame icon tracks the progress of Roman reinforcements and the people under the banner compares your armies. We have armies. So we have Raven, an orphan. No insights unlocked. Sure. I can move this around a little bit. Do I? No, there's no dragging. It just like is based on the mouse. 19% um, hostility. Started at 13, okay. Uh, each block point makes it 3% easier to hurt each other. Um, shame. Oh, shame's a big one. Sorrow's a big one for us. Okay, right. Um, shares hit points, motivation points, weapons, and she has motivation points. Motivation cap represents character's ability to focus and make the effort to reach peak performance. Can I just make use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Other NPCs have... Okay, relationship, friendship plus 9%. Uh, what's that? Positive experiences, 1. Every moment defines how you see this relationship. If positive experiences outweigh the negative, the accumulated goodwill fuels the sense of friendship more. 50% of your experiences are positive. One positive, one negative. Okay. Ah, negative experience, hostility, positive experience, friendship. I see. We have more. Obviously, this is us, so that's just going to be like, yeah, us, you know. So, more is more hostile and not as friendly, but one of each. And they're level three. Represents character strength of personality. Oh, and the rank, of course, right? So, these are all people in the faction. And we're at so five, four, three, two, one, right? Igraine is. Okay, so, Raven is an orphan. We are less important and influential than an orphan. Um, Maul is a bully. Igraine, village elder and healer. Study her reactions to unlock insights. And Weed, our elder brother. Uh, study, is it the same tip for all of them? It is the same tip for all of them. Okay. 
So we will go back to here. All right, I think the game wants me to click this. Your pulse thickens. The marks betray that the deer is close. Scenes carry emotional impulses. Instead of an automatic penalty, an impulse can be resisted. The game automatically rolls a die. Dice is plural, die is singular. To see how much of each impulse you resisted. Only the part of the impulse you don't resist increases your fear and anger intensity. So it's literally a sliding scale thing. And I see the shield there in the middle of the row. That's good, in theory. Theory on the fear line, of course. Yeah, nice little pun there, Raph. Um, yeah. Fear drives you towards safe choices, while anger drives you towards swift action. But don't worry, you can control your emotions. You'll learn how as soon as we run into a choice. The resistance dice rolls success dip chance depends on your resistances and your current pain level. Okay. Lost hit points represent pain. Mouse over the hit point bar to see your current pain level. I mean, it's like right there. You know, we'll be able to do that when this is closed. Mousing over the small plus one labels in the fear and anger bars displays resistance dice roll re details okay i imagine they'll begin to appear at some point note all dice roll results range from zero to a hundred so it's a 101 point spread not a hundred point spread a dice roll lower than a su success chance means success so it's not equal to or lower that's a little odd but then from zero to a hundred we could have one percent okay so we'll never be at a hundred it'd be 99 at the most Hopefully we'll never get that high, because that would be a bit too easy. And we gain plus 6% contr control there. If you fully resist an impulse, you gain control. For each plus 1 impulse resisted, you gain plus 5% control. And we got 6 control. Furthermore, for every 20 points of surplus your dice roll has, you recharge 1% extra control. So, we got plus 5 control for resisting a plus one impulse and we got plus one control for rolling 20 points under the chance okay charging control to a hundred percent refills one motivation point dropping below zero percent will drain one motivation point note if your motivation is already full charging to a hundred percent control creates a positive memory I see, so that's something we should definitely be trying to do. Motivation points are crucial, as they can be used to boost your chances of success in all choices. Let's see how this works. Click down, or continue whatever it is below, and study the scenes until you reach your first choice. Okay, this. Ardua's fear impulse resisted. This story step carries a plus one fear impulse, so we would have got one point of fear. You rolled a 27 in a 64 resistance check and resisted the plus one impulse. Pain level base chance 50%, fear resistance plus 14%, so that would be 64. Yeah, cool. In the sky overhead, your eagle Talon lets out a warning shriek. We have an eagle and it's called Talon. Talon's positive experience increase. This story step, it carries a plus one positive experience increase. Where is that shown on here? Hey, we got a point of fear there. We, we passed the fear resistance. Why did we get it? Um, it is a warning. Recent, recent positive moments influence how likely you are to help each other. Yeah, and... Um, fear intensity one... But we passed it. Why do we have it? That's confusing to me. Slightly. You quickly look around and freeze. That's even more fear. So we're not being told when we fail the test. We're only being told when we pass. Right? Fear intensity 2. I'm, I'm trying to see if I can get the, the arrow underneath. I can't get the green arrow underneath. Separately. Oh, it's there. Uh, 
This story set carries a plus three fear impulse. You rolled a 42 on a 64 and resisted two for plus three. Okay, so it is scaling. I like the fact it's scaling. That doesn't mean this is going to keep mounting, though. Okay. Far ahead, a dark smoke rises from the Roman wall. That's not a good sign. It's never a good sign when Romans are up to something. We got a lot of control. Oh, that's great. Uh, fully resisting a plus and plus three impulse with three times dice roll serpents gives you plus eighteen control. Uh, but if I, why am I getting it then? I don't know. Um, I fully resisted that. Rolled a four. Oh yeah, we passed by sixty. Sure. Who did this? It took decades of war to hold the Romans back. So, yeah, some someone started a fire by the Roman wall. The Romans are going to react badly and might come attack us. Oh, that got us anger. That got us a lot of anger. And now it's certain they'll retaliate. Flip an neck, that fear. Can I just, like, use this now? Um, click on, well, we haven't had any choices yet, so we can't. Okay. Patrols could be scouring the woods already. That's a lot of fear. We're getting really worried now. Look, can we do something about this? Um... Click to zero emotions for one. Yeah, sure. That spends us a... That was good. It got that fear down, right? But your people desperately need more food for this winter. Should have probably kept that fear. A choice of a percent means the games will roll a die to see if you succeed or fail to act the choice out. Your fear and anger intensity affect a choice's chance. Mouse over percentage to see their impact. As mentioned before, motivation points can be used to boost your chances of success. Click the control below costs... Yeah, clicking control below costs one motivation point. I probably should have waited till now to do it, but I wanted to get that fear down. And zeroes out your emotions and their influences. Apart from those three points of anger I gained afterwards. Try it now. Clicking on the control below. Watch how the... Yeah, yeah, sure. We get enough points, Leah. Let's do it. Let's say you don't like result. Click again to undo the move and regain your motivation points. So, that's gone down. So, 99, 82, 41... Another reason to reset your emotions is that leaving them at full intensity drains control. There are two types of dice roll checks, soft and hard. Choices displayed as text represent soft checks. You can roll the dice three times, and hard we only get to roll once, I presume. Failing a soft check represents the tension of indecision triggering a fear or anger impulse. Only plus one. If you want to avoid tension, click it directly on a soft check and boost it to 100% for one max. Wait, if you want to avoid tension, click directly on a soft check percent. So on the actual percentage. Try it now. Uh, I don't want to. It's already... And watch the chance of... Yeah, look, I don't want to do that. I, I want to undo that. Yeah, that's great. Again, so you change your mind and want your motivation point back, click on percent again, as I did. Yeah. Now, if you fail a soft check three times, one motivation point is spent on the effort to commit to a choice, paid successes. If you run out of motivation, a recycling reload arrow will replace the control face control icon. Click on it to recharge motivation points for a penalty. If you reconsider, you can abandon the motivation recharge process without incurring a penalty. Are you going to tell me about hard checks yet? Feel free to explore the current scene. The writing informs you of any downsides to consider. So, I will... I should scan my surroundings, but I will follow the deer. Stepping deeper into the forest, you wait for your eyes to adjust to the shadows and gloom before following the tracks. All right. Let's see if we can get that um, control up even higher. 
How do you proceed? Chase for deer until it drops. Try to sneak up on it. Use your eagle to chase it towards your abandonment hut. I want to try to sneak up on it, right? Because that way, if there are any Romans around, they might not notice me sneaking. I could spend a point. Is that worth it? I'll be sneaky. Ah, but if I sneak, I'm going slower and therefore run the risk of running into Romans. When I sneak... Ah, that's set. I'll commit to it. How do you go about it? Follow the marks quietly. Remember your training. Yes, absolutely. First failure. You're too hungry and eager to make the kill with reason clearly. Oh, that's not good. We got blooming good control, though. How do you go about it? So... Yes, remember your training. You wet your finger and learn that the wind is carrying your scent towards the wall. Which means the deer might know if I'm sneaking up on it. Okay, that could be bad. So I need to move around and rotate to get, get downwind of the creature. You carefully circle the deer so it can neither hear nor smell your presence. Oh, we're up to 6% control, so we've got an extra extra motivation point. Right. Meaning we can spend those points. In this chapter, we got quite a way through. We're going to have loads of points. You spot the deer grazing, but it's too far off for a killing shot. Meaning we need to get a little bit closer. An... A dice icon on the text on the choice text means it leads to a sequence of moves called a risk chain. Each move in this sequence represents a hard check with one dice roll determining its success or failure. The more rolls you succeed at, the better the outcome of the whole sequence. Once you enter a risk chain, a sword in the stone icon with a bonus or penalty will appear at the top of the screen. This represents how your previous choices made this sequence of moves easier or harder. Okay, let's do this. I could just take the shot, but at this distance, no, I'm going to try sneaking closer. This will be risky. You suppress the urge to take the shot and keep closing on your prey. Um, our anger is high. It might be good to click the control buttons around your emotions. Um, we're reasonably in control at the moment. We feel calm, safe. That's all good. Every step closer makes the shot easier, but also risks startling the deer. Hey, we're getting that control. We're doing well here. All right. A fallen trunk is in your way, plus 25%, 100% climb over. As mentioned before, there are two types of dice roll checks, soft and hard. Choices displayed in as icons represent hard checks, so the ones appearing on the screen, yeah, so combat checks are hard. I've seen some combat checks in, like, you know, screenshots. Uh, you have just one try to roll the dice. Can we modify them with motivation points? Quite possibly. Clicking directly on a hard check percent will increase the probability of success by 20% for one morale, uh, what's it, motivation point. Now, try it now. Clicking on the choice and watch the chances improve as you use motivation focus. It's 97%. Unsurprisingly, that goes to 100%. If you change your mind and want your motivation point back, click on the choice until it resets. Yeah, sure, there we go. That's better. Failing a hard check incurs scene-specific penalties, like loss of hit points, wealth, and renown. Checks where failure is fatal comes with a life and death check. Looks like a, some cogs inside an egg with like a... No, it's a skull with cogs inside, like cogs in the brain. Warning at the bottom of the screen. I'm going to climb over it at 100% chance. And watch that control rising. 
cautiously, you manage to step up and over without making any noise. You reach a patch of woodland with a lot of dried twigs on the ground. Ooh, ooh. Really, 100% again? Or 97? That 100 feels... Why are we getting this? Risk chain bonus. Favorable wind. Okay, so we're going to step carefully through. I'd rather walk around, but maintaining a straight line towards the target without like circling around and losing sight of it or having a chance for it to move yeah sure and the slightly higher percentage gives us a better chance of getting control points okay we're, we're working towards that positive memory okay do we have a um mindset four percent oh god we've got to work on that then outfit sure that can wait renown again waiting people all waiting lovely so we've stepped through a patch of twigs. Remember your training for the final steps. We will recall our memory. Oh, this is a fatal one. Really now? I didn't want to do that. That was bad. Um, 97 is good enough to just roll it. You wait for the noises of the forest to mask every move you make. Could it have turned round and gored us with its antlers if, if we failed that? Your approach was flawless, and you're in an ideal position to shoot. As you draw back your bow, you realize the forest has fallen silent. It senses the kill. What do you do? Hide, hide, hide. This sounds really dangerous. There's something unnatural here going on, and it's probably not us. You quickly slip into the cover of the trees. This could be a Roman patrol. Oh, hey, we got another motivation point. What happens when we go over max on that? You hear the deer running off and start to feel that you may have made a mistake. But then, in the stillness that follows, you recognize the far-off sounds of battle. You discern a few Roman words and a chill runs down your spine. They've got someone cornered. Oh, dear. What do you do? Go and try to help. Not try to get help. Sure, we'll go and try and get... We can click on that and go, We've got motivation points! Oh, that was a big help. Sure. I mean, look, we're going to get that point back very soon. How do you go about this? Uh, run, approach as fast as caution allows. We do have those fear points. Um, if we go like that and go, hey, look, we got points, okay? Run. As you draw closer, you pick up a change in the Roman voice issuing orders. They turn from confident to angry. Are they saying, like, where are the weapons, where are the people who set fire to the wall? Cries of pain fill the forest. Someone is killing off the Romans. Oh, that's unusual. Is it one of our competitors? It could very well be. You can already make out the clearing where the fight is happening. What do you do? Observe or run in and... Yeah, we, we observe before entering. A single warrior stands against the foe. No less than four Romans already lie dead or bloodied on the ground. There is something strangely familiar about the warrior's stance... It's her, isn't it? The orphan. I think it's her. An arrow tip flickers in the shadows. A Roman is aiming at the warrior's flank. I have a bow. What do you do? Shoot the archer. Shout archer. Blow the alarm horn. Plus five renown. This choice carries a renown bonus. The deeds and qualities associated with your name carry a lot of weight and open many doors. Yeah, maybe. Shout Archer. Um, it's fear. Shoot the Archer. I presume that's a hard check and I'm going to get to roll for it. Um, if I blow the horn... Sure, if I go like that and go, hey, yeah, sure, we'll do that. The Romans stop and look around, expecting a larger force to emerge. The warrior makes a lightning-fast side roll and surfaces again behind the nearest Roman, using his body as a shield. 
The warrior's hood slips off and you freeze in shock as you recognize her face. I hope you're going to tell me who she is, because otherwise I haven't got a clue. It's Atain, your long-lost childhood friend. A whirlwind of emotions rises in your mind. Yeah, lots of anger. I should use that anger in a fight. Go, get in there and kill people. She doesn't look your way, but is focused on the archer, who's now shifted his aim towards you. Dodge! Dodge! Super dodge! Um, you know what, 81... We can pump that to 100, sure. We got the points for it. I mean, we won't have long. We won't have soon. Hey, we got axe and shield now, suddenly. You skillfully dodge the arrow and move towards your attacker. Hey, we're, we're doing this. Uh, so yeah, progress, 13% towards level. Um, no, this is still only showing points towards level. We've not got any ideas yet. Worst luck. Um, oh, renown, though. We're doing well on renown. People, I don't know, 47, so we're working our way up towards that 190. Right, well, good luck with that. Atain cuts the throat of her body shield and throws him against the officer, who seems to be taking this remarkably well, given the circumstances. It's early access. The officer loses his balance, and her blade slashes into the exposed flesh of his neck. Oh, he is screwed then. Uh, 30%. Legionnaire's fear resistance check. Base chance, 90%. Uh, fear, minus 40. Anger, minus 35. Fear resistance, plus 15. Okay, so basically, he's got a low chance of passing this. Uh, yeah, he blatantly failed that. The archer's hands shake as he tries to draw another arrow. Yeah, I'm getting closer now. Axe and shield at the ready. Junker, 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 junk. I'm gonna get you. You're too scared to take another shot before I get to, like, here and then, like, here. And then I'm, like, killing your face off really hard with an axe, which I didn't even know I had. Choose your action. Plus 75%. <laughs> Killing people shapes your character and triggers additional consequences based on context. So, if I kill him, I might get a bit hardened, I might be more inclined to kill later. If I don't kill him, she might say to me, why didn't you kill him? Why did you let that Roman bastard go? Killing an enemy, en killing an enemy in self-defense in battle does not generate guilt, but may generate trauma, and he's kind of frozen in fear. Killing an opponent in cold blood generates guilt, especially if the opponent is an ally. Killing Romans also raises the probability they'll call reinforcements. You can click Rrr! character sheet and access the people tab to see the current state of fire reinforcement progress. Okay, let's do that. Just so that is that's influence rank progress. Where's the fire? The fire is here and zero percent. We're good. Itain has appeared. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now we're sixth place in six. We are sixth place in six. A new challenger has entered the totem pole, um, climbing whatever. Itain, long lost childhood friend. Um, got two positive experiences, two negative. 23% friendship, 21% hostility. Let's, let's do something about that. She has health and... Weapons, everything else. Right, good. So, we can take cover to avoid getting shot at. We can throw the axe to kill him. I want to throw the axe to knock the bow out of his hands, right? To disarm him. I think that'll be an interesting choice. It's quite the distance, but your axe knocks the bow aside and disarms him. And it's still in our hand. Yeah, we got Renown. Because the, the Celtic way of fighting, it's less about the efficient kill and more about um, flair and style. Hey, that's lost us a lot of fear. We're cool. We're about to get another point back. We better start spending these more quickly. He starts to flee, but Atain's dagger buries deep in his neck and he dies with a horrific, horrific scream. And look, we can be grateful that it wasn't our kill, but she might get the glory from... Yeah, she got a lot more glory from that kill than we did. Yeah, our renown now is like, um... Uh, 
25 points. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. The last soldier reaches for his horn to call for reinforcements, and we have no axe to throw! Injure or kill? I'm gonna go for the kill. I'm gonna click it. I'm gonna shoot an arrow and be like, hey, you, you're getting shot at, uh, mister. I can... Yeah, yeah, spend those points. Your arrow pierces through his neck and the horn falls from his lips. I hope we don't feel bad about this later on, but hey, we got a point back, so that's great. He collapses with a gruesome gurgling sound. You turn towards Atayan, only to see her begin to throw a dagger your way. Hey! Steady on now! This is me we're talking at here, about here. Does she think because I didn't try to kill the guy straight up that... Whoa, 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 that is not good. Call out to her to stop and be like, hey, hold on. Attain's friendship versus Ardur check. Base chance, 30%. Ardur, fear, plus 25. Anger, plus zero. So I could zero this out and get rid of that fear. But the fear is helping me. Uh, her guilt and friendship helping 95%. I mean, I don't think I need to spend a point to change that. Here we go. But her hands freezes as your eyes meet. Recognition, I hope. Run. Run, she whispers in a familiar voice, but with a gravity you don't recognise. And I heard her voice. It was quiet. Maybe I should... No, I've got speech at 100, so that's all good. Alright, attained success, rolled 35 and an 88% chance. So that's good. So the NPCs are all rolling for all their tests as well. That's interesting. Uh, is that her 16% control or mine? Um, so far, I'm 35 renown. Yeah, look, I'm, I'm nothing here. Mindset, no ideas unlocked yet. If she tried to attack me, oof, that could have changed. 70... Um, Raven, sorry to say this, girl, but I might be overtaking you soon at this rate. I hope she sticks around if she's overtaken and doesn't just, like, fall off the bottom. Ooh, nasty. Down, 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 up, down. On the, like, positive and friendship. We're still on five points here, so five points is five points. Okay. In the next moment, she turns and disappears into the forest, leaving your world turned upside down. And we should probably run away before more Romans come. Because, look... They didn't blow a horn for reinforcements, but we bloody did. So, even if they don't hear Romans asking for reinforcements, they're like, hey, if there was a Celt there, like a large Celtic force, we should go deal with that. Larger than our patrol was expecting. How do you react? Uh, Itain, wait! Call out after her, you're welcome. That would make it a negative experience for her why would it make it a negative experience okay mutter you're welcome we had to roll to do that hey positive you can't believe she's left you spent years wondering what happened to her well, apparently she's been on the run what do you do go after her and find her probably not examine the spot of a fort no Sort through your feelings? Yes. We failed! You're too tense to focus on your feelings. <laughs> what do you do? Um, we increase our chance of sorting through our feelings and then sort through our feelings? Seeing her brought forth old feelings of loss, guilt and anger, but now a new feeling emerges. One of... Fuck me, if I stay here, I'm going to get killed. A feeling both beautiful and dangerous. A feeling of hope. That everything that should have been, could be again. Maybe, right? Maybe. It catches you off guard as something you haven't allowed yourself to feel for a long time. Oh, this is a fort coming out emerging, is it? You realise being abandoned at an early age has left you convinced of the inherent loneliness of our existence. Oh, we better resist that. New idea unlocked. 
Mindset tab. We are all alone in the end. Losing your mother at an early age impacted you deeply. You're convinced of the inherent loneliness of existence. It reduces fear resistance and friendship checks by five. Idea resistance, none of five. Click plus and minus to build resistance to this idea. Yes, I would like to resist this idea. Uh, currently, it's having nothing yet right. Oh, this is idea, total idea effects, or just this idea. Let's. You need 50 more experience points. Oh, it's going to cost us experience points to resist this, is it? We have 18, 37, so we need 13 more, or 50 more. 13 more. Right. Attain returning enables you to look this in a new light and use your experience to determine what you believe in. Click on the character sheet to access the mindset tab. This is this is deadly. This has deadly consequences. Okay, we go mindset. Yes, we see it. We're all learning the end. I want to. I want to do this. I want to resist this idea. I want to say no. We are together. We can work together. We can help. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. What do you do? Let her go and return home. 5% chance. I, I suppose I better go examine the spot where they fought. Sure. You enter the now eerily quiet clearing, strewn with Roman corpses. That should be strewn. I mean, strewn is correct, but strewn is more correct. And less often used. Knew I said about it? Oh, okay, okay. Um, what's this? Attains negative experience, impulse resisted. Is that a negative experience that she has had, or a negative experience of her that we have had? Probably from the time she went to throw the dagger at me. These are clean, efficient kills. The wounds were clearly inflicted by a real weapon wielded by flesh and blood. Yes, she was right there. We saw... I suppose we could doubt it. New insight. She is lethal. You can interpret it this insight in both a friendly and a hostile way. Click on character sheet and go to a tab. Um, so, insights one. Uh, where where is it? Where is it? Where do we know this? Um, uh, long last try. So we don't. We have one insight. I'm not sure how we're going to be reminded of this. Um, huh. At some point. Influence, right? So this is all influence, isn't it? It's, um, yeah, it's only on the mindset tab we get the uh, character level. Okay. The officer's tongue is missing, but she didn't take his head as his custom. She had time to cut out his tongue before she ran away. That, she didn't make that very... She must have done that while we were charging down the archer, I suppose. Um, negative experience point... Uh, so this is our negative experience of her, not... Okay. Maybe she doesn't want to the burden to slow her down. She must be expecting more fights. That's a lot of fear. It might be to our advantage, but it probably isn't when it's that much. What do you make of her? She is a heartless monster. Plus one terror versus attain. Uh, Arda's terror towards attain increases. This plus one terror penalty raising, rising its intensity. Um, a terror block tracks how terrified you are of her and how much you will try to avoid her. She is dangerous. Um... Recent negative experience influence how likely you are to harm each other. She's impressive. Well, she's dangerous and impressive. I don't know who she's become. Um, maybe I believe there's a bit of Celtic solidarity and she's an impressive warrior. You stop and listen, but you can't hear anything unusual. You should have time to survey the aftermath, but you are far from being safe. I already did. What do you do? Look for... Hey, let's plus that. 
You take everything you can carry. Their silver and their weapons, plus 40 wealth. Oh yeah, we can upgrade stuff at the end of this chapter. Speaking of which, we got a lot. Hey! We can do it now. Hair, war paint, beard, bow, shield, melee, outfit, clip. Right, let's... Uh, Hairstyle crafting. Each item category can be improved in various ways. Click on the icons to the right to upgrade your items. These are locked. Will will buying it unlock it? Prestige. Outfit prestige plus one. How many outfits do I have? Or is it just like the total outfit for this character for the entire game? Let's, yeah, let's do that. Go, yeah. He, his hair looks more beautiful. Gives him plus two beauty. Uh, which I suppose will have gone to the um, the general beauty um, down here, right? Which is... No, it's not here. It's, oh, where is it? Ten. Encourage, soothe, and prestige. We need to work on that menace, though. So we'll do some other things uh, as well. Right. So you just like sort of like... You know, Smooths his hair a bit, brushes it back away from his face, and he's ready to go. One of the bo on one of the bodies, you find a set of wooden figures. They represent children, two boys and a girl. Maybe I know some children I could give them to as a gift. Numerous little knives in his kit hint that he carved them himself. Oh. If he has three children, we killed a father. Yeah, I see all that fear mounting up. What's your take on this? Vengeance is mine. He shouldn't have joined the army. We have to stop this bloodshed. We'll just, we all just try to survive. Um, I don't think he should have stayed away necessarily, but um, yeah, we have to stop. This is, you know, real people are suffering here. These are children who are going to grow up without a father. You realize there are people who have better things to do than kill each other on both sides. On both sides? Yeah, there are people on both sides. New insight about Legionnaire unlocked. They have families too. You can interpret this sense in both a friendly and hostile way. Um, where did he come from? People tab. We, we have Legionnaires on the People tab now. Use goodwill and insights to build your relationships and influence. Insight effects. Um, what's this? Do I have any? Fifty goodwill points. I do not have any. Understanding others. Right. So, what is this? This is people tab. No, not not Ro not the Romans. Um, mindset. How do I how do I get to that Roman legionnaires on the people tab? To um, is it here? No. What 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 have I done? I don't know. People. Hmm. Not sure what to think of that one. Renown. No titles unlocked. Mindset just this so I how do I get back to that I don't know interesting though our ideals are down here can I click on these no 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 right I can I can plus this no Hmm. I'd like to know how I get back to that one to to say, look, the Romans aren't all bad people. It's not part of you, is it? No, it's not. Oh, hello. She is lethal. Uh, so I could improve that insight? Or... I don't know. I'd like to know how I... Balance of power... I, so I can't get back to that yet somehow there must be a way to get to that that I'm not aware of 
It's tragic, but proves that they are not heartless, that there is room, perhaps, for compromise. What do you do? Take the head myself? Uh, it's not my kill, and she can call me out for it. That's dishonorable. Let's get quickly out of here. You swiftly leave the clearing and take cover among the trees. What do you do? Go after her and find her, leave her and return home five percent. No, I'd better go after her. That's a lot of fear, though. As much as you try, you can't find a trace of her. Yeah. Oh, well. So we, we got a negative impulse from that. It's as if she is a shade. Not a being of mortal flesh and blood. For the briefest of moments, you doubt whether she was truly real. There is nothing for you to do here, and the other Romans could be nearby. You race against the falling sun, eager to reach home before nightfall. You're returning to your village, hungry and worried about Etain and the Romans. They could have got there before us. As you set a sustainable pace, ideas swell in your head and compete for attention. We have a new checkpoint. Okay, that's fine. What do you focus on? Think about Attain, think about the Romans. Save energy and let your mind wander. Focus on... Yeah, 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 I should probably do that, but... Look, the Romans are a danger, but he's thinking of his old friend, right? Why is she here? And why is she by herself? Was she involved in the attack on the wall? Ooh! We got more negative. Is that adding up? Um, four negative, eight positive. So, so far, so good. Working up a bit. We got a bit here as well. She, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Interpret this insight. Well, we just don't have the points, do we? We do not have the points at all, but we will gain them. What does this do? Replay chapter progress. No thanks. It's all here. We see it. Um, getting the top boost for now. Multiply. Yeah, fine. We'll just have to work on it, I suppose. Why is she here and why was she by herself? Was she involved in the attack on the wall? Why did she not stay? You're certain she recognized you when your eyes met. Recalling her face, you realize what's been right before your eyes the whole time. The Royal Guard headband. That is not quite a talk. New insight. She's part of the Royal Guard. Wow, we're just learning everything, aren't we? She's lethal and part of the... Oh, and then this would be... She's part of the Royal Guard, I see. I see, they're arranged around the screen. That explains her lethal skills. So I don't even need to understand that she is lethal thing now because of a part of the Royal Guard, probably. Did she run away so quickly because she's on an important mission? Quite possibly. That would mean the king is expecting some kind of trouble of the Romans. Or perhaps the king started the trouble himself. That's negative again. Man, we keep failing these. So much fear. Right, look, I'm just gonna... Go look. Bad fear, okay. If so, does Attain even care that you and your brother Weed might get hurt when the Romans retaliate? You know what? I think she cares. This choice carries a minus one hurt bonus, lowering its intensity. A hurt block tracks how much you feel hurt by her and how badly you want to take revenge. I'm worried her first loyalty is to her duty. I'm certain her first loyalty is to her duty, but I think she cares. Um, she did tell me to run away to safety after all. So yes, I trust that she cares. You can't know for sure, but decide to hope for the best. What do you do next? Yes, let's think of our childhood together. The last day you saw her, her mother scared that they would starve that winter gave her up for training at the fort. So we literally knew she went to... Oh my god. This is this is dumb. Attains negative experience impulse resisted. 36 on 65. Yeah, we get, we're getting a bit better there. 
Besides, besides Weird Detain was the only person you were close with. Oh, that is, as a village elder, that's really bad news. The way she listened and understood made you feel less alone in the world. What do you make of it? She blames me for not helping her in the past. No. She must have had a reason to do... She must have a reason to do with today's events. She might be afraid of us meeting, of her emotions. I don't know her anymore and I should be cautious. Um... I'm going with this one. She might be afraid of us meeting, of her emotions. What do you focus on? Well, I'm going to think about the Romans. Who started this mess again? You were six when your mother was killed in a border conflict like this. What do you make of it? Rome must pay for her actions. Rage! Uh, maybe not. We should finally defeat them in battle. We should strive to maintain peace. War presents many opportunities. Look, we, 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 we didn't start this, right? We're just struggling to get by. We should, we should try and keep the peace. What do you focus on? Save energy and let your mind want to focus on your surroundings. Hey, we got points to spend. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing that to get the control up. Which, yeah, me, uh, uh, one point means I did essentially spend 100 control, but I was so close, I'm getting that point back pretty soon. You stop and listen to the noises of the forest. Your caution pays off as you spot someone lurking in the shadows near the trail. I hope it won't be her and that it would be a third character. It could be, but it shouldn't be. Aha. <laughs> You seek cover when a figure steps out onto the troll. Hello! You're a person on my people tab. I see you! Such a coward. Always hiding. Always hesitating. If I had that head to show him, we would see who's the coward then. But I was honourable. It's Maul, a local bully, volatile, petty and bitter. He holds a bow with an arrow ready to pull. Yeah, it should be less bows and more spears at this point in time, but more, more slings and spears. What do you do? What do you want, Maul? Ignore him and continue walking down the trail. There's been an attack on the wall. We've got to warn everyone. Think about your options. Hey, let's... If I boost this... Sure. You've known him all your life. If you let him, he will rob you and hurt you. But he won't kill you. Okay. Fatigue. We better get another point back then soon then. Oh, we did. Right, okay. Um, he is too scared of Wid. If it comes to a fight, you're pretty certain he will retreat if you injure him enough. And we are... That's a lot of anger. You can either show strength to intimidate him, or you can feign fear to make him drop his guard. You can also use the Roman silver to distract him. Yeah, but will he then steal it off us? Thinking about him makes you see more than just an attacker. What do you do? Recall your own history of Maul. You know what? I've got to be able to remember this stuff, right? <laughs> Vivid memories of your family's growing up in the village arise. You see his father, crippled in war, begging for food. Maul supporting his weight, helping him walk. Children taunting them, sometimes even throwing stones. You pitied Maul. You understand how it felt to be ashamed of your father. You recall Wid standing up for him more than once. Not standing up to him, but standing up for him praising Maul's loyalty to his family. As the years passed, supporting his father's weight day after day, Maul grew up stronger than most boys. And after his father passed, Maul started to use his strength to strike back at those who laughed at him. It, it, that's a fine line between striking back and then going out of... Um, he struggles with his family's shame. He often made the point that he doesn't beg for anything but simply takes what he wants. I have no, um, I have no points. I have like 50, like, like four goodwill points. I had five. Where did one go? What? Oh, is it 
goodwill points of each person. Ooh. Right, you. Four points. You. Four points. Okay, so it seems to not be per person. It seems to be uh, just a group goodwill pointage. All right. So I shouldn't sell, show him the treasure or he'll take it. I should have stood up for him too. There's no excuse he's not a child anymore. He's too set in his ways. My empathy won't change him. Think about how you can mend bridges. Wow, that's so really... Let's try... Oh, that's big. One thing that will quickly improve a man's disposition is praise and good food. What do you do? Stop playing nice. Hey, character tabs. Why do we have a plus? Mindset. We have our 50 points. We're all alone again. Let's resist this. Right. Uh, so that's gone down to four and four. All right. That's given us fear and friendship. All right. Okay. By the gods, Maul, I didn't see you there. Well, I did. You're not ready to flatter someone who preys on his own people. What do you do? Well, look, I'll just stop being nice. There's been an attack on the wall. We have to warn everyone. Maul is shaken for a moment by the gravity of your words. But saying you have to warn people... That's putting, like, giving him responsibility and respect, right? Um, oh, that's a lot of hostility. Okay, fine. You won't talk your way out of this one, you little bitch. Okay, that's quite quiet. You won't talk your way out of this one, you little bitch. He spurts out angrily. Oh, great. I could click the icon to push beyond the limits, regain 50%. At a cost of your choosing, plus one trauma, rage, guilt, or minus 30% hit points. No, I'm going to wait, because we are close to getting a point back. Uh, I thought Romans, or just, I'm not lying, the danger is very... I'll, I'll go with this. I'm not lying. The danger is very real. Maul studies your face with an intense stare full of disbelief. Yeah, he, um, he didn't believe us. You can see he's deliberating what to do. Well, he's failed, which is either a really bad thing for us or a really good thing for us. He looks you in the eye, searching to see if you're bluffing. Hey, that's a positive. All right. 25. Oh, that's bad. Can we up that? No, we can't. We can't change that. All right. He can't hold your defiant gaze and turns towards the bushes without a word. Oh, so we were staring him down. That's what he was running for. All right. We got renown for being like you, big bad bully. A flush of prideful dominance comes over your rather proud dominance. Yeah. We're not going to let him push us around. We've nearly got a fatigue point back and everything. It feels good to put Maul in his place and without invoking your brother's name to do it. Bonus for a brother. Yeah, cool. How do you handle this? Uh, I'm not going to stand down and keep quiet. You're not willing to let him go just yet. Too angry, apparently. How do you handle this? Look, I'm going to try again, right? It's a soft check. I can keep trying. Oh, yeah! How do you handle this? I... Really stand down and keep quiet and let him go. I don't want to make it any worse than it already is. So wait, we didn't get that point back. What happened there? We should have plus 14. Okay, four. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, success. All right. You can hear that Maul doesn't stop running for a long time. You reach your village and use the darkness to slip into your home. I'm going to stop at the end of the chapter. 
and call that the episode. And then I'm going to probably find out this is a massively long video. Anger intensity zero. You feel calm. Yes, yeah, sure, sure, sure. We're not angry. You can tell that Wid has already returned from his hunt, but he's not currently home. Oh, we should really try and get some points up before he gets back. You're hungry, exhausted and ashamed, but you feel you should warn the others. Am I ashamed? I'm not sure I'm ashamed. The wall was attacked and Roman patrols roamed the woods in retaliation. Hey, I'm getting points, okay. I'm. What will you do? Go out and warn your people. Yeah, we, we need to do this one right away. As you must have the strength to leave the house, you hear excited shouts from a village. Oh dear, this could be... It could be Maul coming with stuff he's nicked from the dead Romans. Unlikely. Attain. King's servants. Maybe. Let's find out. You follow the noise and find a small crowd gathered around a more fortunate hunter. Okay. As custom dictates, the hunter shares the meat with others. Yeah, I didn't bring any back. I did bring treasure though, which I've spent already on the way back apparently. While decades of war have made these people stern, the community is loyal to each other. What do you do? We take our share. I don't want to owe anything to anyone. Um, I'll try this once. After everyone's had their share, they're about to leave quietly. What do you do? Uh, let's think about this a moment. The prospect of a new war breaking out is horrible news. No one wants to hear what you have to say. New insight about the villagers. I could spend points on this. But if this tab is only here temporarily, just for this. Then I should concentrate saving the points for the regular people I have on the people tab, right? Otherwise, how do I... If I close that go back to here. There's got to be a way. Or maybe I'm just not supposed to um, get to those groups at all. Right? What I can do though is be like, hey, I've got some points here, right? And I can... It's 50 points, isn't it? Yes, that's a lot of points I don't have. Fine. <laughs> Hmm. Unlike your brother, you haven't yet earned their trust. You could talk to him privately and let him deal with the crowd. We could. He's not here right now. Or you can try to talk to them patiently on your own. Igraine the Elder may be vexed you didn't wait for her, but Wid, who holds real influence, is on your side. He'll understand, but we're not waiting for him. I saw black smoke rise from the wall. The people murmur in disbelief. There has been peace ever since the wall was built. I'm not going to shout the Romans will retaliate. That could cause people to panic. I will show them the Roman weapons. A few of them look curious, but you can see they are not convinced. But we got renown, though. Fight the Romans yourself. Did you fight the Romans yourself? A warrior asks, watching your reaction attentively. How do you reply? What does it matter? Romans crossed the wall. Uh, yes, I fought several Romans this day. Like, two of them. His eyes sharpen for a moment, but he doesn't press the issue. He might not believe me. Damn it. Neither Wid nor the Elder are here to sort this out. I'm, I'm not sure how loud that was, but that's literally at full volume at the moment. Damn it. Neither Wid nor the Elder are here to sort this out, he exclaims. Besides, 
A scuffle with a handful of Romans is hardly an invasion. Besides, a scuffle with a handful of Romans is hardly an invasion, he concludes regaining his composure. We will wait for Wid. Turning to the crowd, he proclaims, We will wait for Wid to decide what to do. You know what? I'm inclined to agree with you there. I mean, he's disrespecting us, he's like taking the decision into his own hands. But he did bring back the big, um, hey look, we should totally, um, get rid of some of that anger. People nod and start to disperse. Even if, even if not present, Wid overshadows you of his authority, but that's okay. Although, that's a lot of anger. But we might need this for something much more important. Uh, we are 86% of what- no, you know what, let's do it. How do you react? Why wait? Can't you decide for yourself? No. It may be too late by the time Wid returns. I agree. Thank you for hearing me out. The crowd calmly disperses, talking in hushed voices. A few people look at you with respect that wasn't there before. Rank up, and new title unlocked. Your glacial reserve is spoken of among the tribes. Title, renown, none of five. Use it. Ardua the Calm. Let's look at this. Um, renown. We have 79 points, right. Ardua the Calm. Sure, let's increase that a little bit. People will speak well of us, and rank up. What's that done for us? Influence rank, 5% accuracy, social status and ability to sway group decisions. Does this mean that we now have a bigger... Oh, we've really ranked up. Poor Raven. I hope to meet you soon and say, hey, sorry you're doing so badly. Um, how do we get back to this? There we go. So we're level 1, rank 2, level... Is just experience regained and gives us stuff. Okay. So we're developing, you know, numbers are going up, we're improving. Mindset, we have an idea which we could try to resist. Need 50 more points to resist that a bit more. We have a title that we can reinforce. We have different links to different people. No insights unlocked. Um, two insights, one, hmm, and of our 18 points, this would cost 50, so we need a lot more goodwill points. Okay, okay. As you turn back to your house, you notice Wid standing in the shadows. He must have watched everything. And we resisted that being a negative experience. We're like, he's judging us. We're like, no, maybe he respects us. This is grave news, brother. This is grave news, brother. I'm glad you're all right. He greets you solemnly. Do you tell him about your encounter with Maul? Yeah, absolutely. Maul ambushed me today. For a brief moment, Wid's face flushes of anger. Maul should know better. What happened? What happened? He demands, jaw clenched. I stared him down and he ran off. We just tell him the truth. That was smart. That was smart, Wid nods. We'll need every single warrior in the coming war. Your thoughts return to facing the mob of villagers. Wow, we were a very introspective character. Wid must be thinking the same thing as he states, That was quite the crowd, right? It's about it's quite a small crowd, I think, but yeah. What do you say? Why didn't you back me up? Because he wants to see if I can do it myself. Wid, why didn't you join us? It wasn't as bad as I expected, or... Wid, Etain is back. Yeah, I'll tell him that. What did you say? You saw our Etain. What did you say? How you saw our Etain. How is my little sister? Asks Wid with genuine surprise. I don't think he means, like literal sister, but rather like we thought of her as a sister. 
You never realised we'd so retained that way and it catches you off guard. New insight. He feels protective. Sure, and we don't have the points. I suppose working on insights for characters is going to be less about gaining an advantage of, over them and more getting more insight into the character, getting, you know, spending more, not quite spending more time with that character, but getting more quality experience regarding that character in our playthrough. How do you respond? Your little sister's a serial killer. Um, you know, she's in the Royal Guard now. Why didn't she? But why didn't she, why didn't she tell us? Why didn't she come? Who knows? But we're picking... Seems like okay choices for now. Resisting, okay. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. This must be tough on you, he finishes. Why? How do you react? We didn't exactly speak much or do not comment. Uh, we'll just roll it. Oh, good. Good roll. That got us some, uh, some more control. He nods, relieved that you didn't take him one relieved that you didn't take him wondering why Attain didn't come back to you the wrong way. Oh well you didn't take it the wrong way. You walk back home in silence, and we're nearing the end of the chapter. You know there is no use talking to Wid now. He likes to process things before he speaks his mind, and I'm definitely seeing the family resemblance here. He's got a few more wrinkles in his brow. The eyebrows and eyes are very similar, the nose not so much. And the beard differs ever so slightly. Well, no, 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 it's just higher on the neck. I see, it's a positioning thing. He wishes you good night, then lies down on his bed as you fall exhausted into yours. That's a lot of anger to work through. But sleep escapes you. You're worried about a tain and a war that could wipe out your entire people. Oh, dear. How do you deal with the uncertainty? Take a sleeping herb. Use reason to still the doubts. Use faith to still the doubts. Focus on what went good today. Sure, we'll use our faith. You rely on your conviction that if you survived up until now, then the gods must favor you, and must favor Etain as well. You remain aware of the dangers, but your mind is at peace, and the events of the day begin to unfold before your eyes. They went away really quick, didn't they? Like, woomph up, woomph down. You battled with a superior Roman force and lived to tell the tale. You have even found valuable loot. Etain is alive, and based on the skills you witnessed, she'll stay that way. You stood up to that son of a bitch, Maul. I wonder if we'll get a little summary like this at the end of every chapter. For the first time, you gained respect with your people. Yeah, look at that, we're going to get a point back and everything. We get them all back at the, end of every, at the beginning of every chapter anyway, apparently. Just how much you achieved in one day surprises you, so we could use a little more motivation points to push for more control and more experience points. Let's see where we're going here. You always felt like you don't have what it takes. New idea unlocked. Ooh. I don't have what it takes. Oh man, choosing which of these to resist will be hard. But in this new light, you feel able to counter such a damaging idea. Yeah, too right. Oh, you, you want me to... Um, to, to counter this, don't you? And I don't have the points. You wanted me to not spend those points there earlier. I understand. As more details emerge and your mind goes through them, exhaustion takes over. Chapter End. Uh, chapter 1, 100% complete. Plus 69 experience. I wonder what the maximum would be. Plus 40 wealth, plus 79 re renown, 33 goodwill. Two ideas, no items, one title, six insights. Including into characters who we don't have access to anymore and they're just like gone. Maybe there'll be like sideways tabs or something. It'll be nice to go back to the characters, but if they're just throwaway insights we're just supposed to see and not like develop with points, then okay. Well, all right. Um, anything here to do? 
we're working on that level to level two. Um, we got outfit. We've improved our hairstyle. That was like, yeah. And then that would cost us like 60 wealth points. Oh, it's a scaling. So if we want to improve his beard, would that cost 15? 60, 30. Oh, are they in order? So, um, 20, 40. Okay, okay. 50. Ah. 150. Okay, so they're definitely cheaper and more expensive things. All right, all right, all right. And bow. So the bow beard head. So this side is generally cheaper. Got it. Mindset, we have ideas. Renown, we got a title. Yeah, we like, look at that. We need like 21 more points. People, here we are. Cool. I'm going to leave this one here, uh, but I am going to click on to the next one. chapter gain. Access our influence. Social rank of a people's tab. Um, influence. Uh, next rank. Okay, we got to beat more next chapter. Cool. Chapter two, Shadow. And this will be that good stopping point. Yeah, I'm going to leave this episode here. I hope you've all enjoyed this one, lengthy though it may be. And I'll look forward to seeing you all in the next episode, which I hope to record reasonably soon. But I'm going to say bye-bye for now. See you all next time. Cheerio, everyone.